rejection. Sam Freeman. And it's slipping to the rim. Another rejection. This time Mulcahy on the bench right now in this 4-4 ball game. Well, Minnesota trying to take advantage of the Johnson Mulcahy matchup, but Williams has other plans. Yeah, he's got some swag, and you know he, he's got a lot of amnesia as well. You know, he'll miss five in a row. He'll keep he'll keep putting them up. That's another guy. We, we weren't in the game. We didn't have our heads in the game, but it showed. Well, and you know, you think about it. Nebraska has been struggling. They they've had more COVID pauses than, than most teams in the Big Ten Conference. So the team can seem to really get on track here offensively. And either team is led by more than two points. This could be another lead change. How did he flip that up? Booth Gotch. Williams and Mashburn and Johnson, they're kind of picking up the slack. Foul and count the bucket. Geo Baker with a corner three. Baker, NBA range, doesn't matter. He can hit from anywhere. Rebound comes down to Young. Mathis on oh. the other end, throwing it down. Largest lead for Rutgers. That's an exclamation mark to end the first half by the Scarlet Knight. Rebound to Harper. Harper sat most of the first half with two fouls. He averages 16 points a game. So he's key. And here a beautiful assist cross court to Mulcahy. Young stepping back on Mashburn and knocking it down from three. Rutgers is in a zone. Yeah, it's an enigma, isn't it? That you know, they, they shoot a lot of them, but they don't shoot a high percentage. And it's hurting them today. No from McConnell. Yes, from the left-hander, Jacob. Young. He can really shoot the three. He's got a lot more in his game, though, according to Coach Patino. Up and in, there is Isaiah Enid through the contact. Maybe that'll wake him up. Geo Baker with a rebound. Outlet, here's a numbers game, and they take advantage. Whoa, Young to Mathis. I go back to Brandon Johnson. He's got Ron Harper Jr. guarding him in the post. It's Dad Mashburn Jr. switches it into another gear. It's a two-point game. There and this is. could be it. Carr, yes, his first basket is the biggest one of the game. Gets in the paint again and once again dropping a dime. This time to McConnell. Timeout. By Minnesota. Mashburn Jr. driving on McConnell. What a finish! Jacob Young eating a little clock. Now he attacks in the lane. Up and in, and he's fouled. Jacob Young. What a big shot for the Scarlet Knights. And the final couple of seconds tick away. Rutgers gets the win in overtime, and they all but secure their spot in the NCAA tournament.